Pilates is currently taking over the internet and since I'm on a mission to be a Pilates princess I thought I would give it a try to see if I actually do see any results or any benefits from doing Pilates. There's just one small issue. <laughs> I have zero flexibility skills so we're doing wall pilates not reformer pilates looking for a new type of pilates to try but don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a single pilates class this video is definitely for you so go grab your snacks guys because you're all in for a treat hi hello and welcome back to yet again another video if you're new here my name is renee and we're going to be doing another pilates video because i'm in my pilates era at the moment i don't know what it is but i'm literally just pilates obsessed maybe because i'm a little bit of a lazy gal and i like to do all of my workouts on the floor whenever possible now i said at the end of last year that i was going to attempt reformer pilates but that definitely has not happened yet it is a new year which means i have some new goals just overall want to feel really healthy want to feel strong I thought I would give a different type of Pilates a try or wondering what that is. That is called wall Pilates. Some of you may have heard of this. Some of you may have not. Essentially, I'm going to be doing Pilates against a wall. I'm really excited to switch things up a bit because I haven't taken the plunge in signing up to do reformer Pilates classes. And thankfully, the workout that I'm showing in this video, you can do at home. You do not need any other equipment apart from some motivation. If you haven't already seen it, I've made two other videos fully dedicated to Pilates. I've left a link up here somewhere if you want to watch that first if you're also a lazy gal like me and you want to attempt pilates but you don't want to sign up for a form of pilates yet this video is definitely for you are you ready guys I've got my leggings on, I've got my high socks on. This can only mean one thing, it is Pilates time, baby. I hope you're all prepared. Spider-Man has officially entered the building and there is no going back. Other news, how expensive are Pilates classes? I looked at prices the other week and I nearly had a heart attack. I'm moving soon, so there's not really any point me starting up classes just yet. Also I left the link to the exact wall Pilates workout I did for this video, so I've got you all covered, guys. You can all see I'm pushing through my heels for this move. It definitely got everything burning, especially my abs. Me and my double chin were literally having so much fun, but the only issue was I kept sliding off the wall. Just when I thought my Pilates double chin couldn't possibly get any worse, we're full on rocking a triple chin right now, guys. Looked like I was in some deep concentration here, but I was really singing in my head, from the window to the wall, to the sweat. Okay, I'm not gonna sing the rest of those lyrics because I'm keeping this channel PG. This is how much I'm struggling with wall Pilates. I can't even imagine what I would be like with reformer Pilates. My neutral spine has officially left the chat. I don't know where it went, but it's not coming back. Anyone else struggle to find their neutral spine, especially when doing core exercises, or is that just me? Also low key feel like Pilates is changing my style. Like I'm actually wearing tight leggings. I'm wearing high socks. Well, you know what? I'll be using those cool Pilates ankle weights that I've literally seen all over my Instagram. Moving on, and we're going to be lifting our core up like so. It's literally made everything so much more painful. I wasn't actually quite sure if I was doing any of these exercises correctly because I was feeling pain in my core, but I was also feeling a bit of pain in my back. I decided to lower myself down closer to the mat. I was really struggling at this point. I literally just wanted to go sit on the green couch, have some snacks, have some chocolate. We do not quit here on this channel. When we feel like giving up, we get back up and we get the workout done. And then we go and sit on the couch. If you haven't started a wall Pilates yet. I hope by the end of this video, I've motivated you all to give it a try. If you're all ready to watch me level up because I don't think you're all prepared. Wait for it, wait for it. And here we go all over again. Um, I'm not actually sure if I was doing this correctly. I was meant to be crunching whilst pulling my leg in at the same time. Next, we're going to be targeting the bootay. I feel like I've been so focused on my core strength that I've completely forgot about all my other muscles. What I really do love about Pilates is that it really is a full body workout. Finally in the home stretch of this wall Pilates workout, and I definitely was planning in my mind what I was going to be eating post-workout. Surely I'm not the only one that plans their meals mid-workout. Started to cry, but then remembered I can do my own Pilates in the lounge room. I can cook my own meals that taste amazing let's all be thankful that i do youtube videos and that i'm not auditioning to go on the voice anytime soon you're officially up to the very last exercise 
Let's play the fun game of how many of these exercises can I do before I just fall over. I think I only managed to do three in total, which I think is a new record for me. Five, four, three, two, one, let go. Level up, level up, level up. We did it, we finally did another workout. Actual footage of me 10 minutes post-workout eating some hot chippies in a cafe because chips are life and I will continue eating them. I also got a juice because it was really hot. It's summer here in Australia. We all needed to refuel post-workout. Three days later. It is another beautiful day to be doing some wall Pilates. I'm just having a cup of tea first. I unfortunately don't have any chocolate left in the house because I ate it all. I'm really enjoying this wall Pilates. It's definitely spiced things up a bit in my workout routine. Funnily enough, I've noticed that wall Pilates is a bit easier than regular Pilates. So found that it targets my core more than anything else. I've been looking into pelvic floor Pilates. A lot of these exercises that I've been doing with wall Pilates seems to be targeting pelvic floor really well. I also think that wall Pilates is really beginners friendly. I'm back on the green couch and that can only mean one thing. It is results time, baby. No, I'm not going to be sharing my results of only doing wall Pilates for one week because it definitely takes longer than just one week to see results from doing Pilates. So I'm going to be sharing my results from doing Pilates from October last year until now. I think I've been doing it for around three months. I can't already tell from my content. I'm definitely in my Pilates princess era. I'm so happy that I've found a type of workout that I can do with my chronic fatigue. I can get some of my gains and strength back. I'm glad that I stumbled upon wall Pilates workouts because for one it's really really fun two you don't have to leave your house three you don't have to pay for any crazy expensive Pilates classes and four I think it's really good for strengthening your core the exercises in the wall Pilates I've tried over the last week been more Pilates pelvic floor exercises someone that is just starting out in your Pilates journey I would highly recommend wall Pilates overall I've weirdly enough found it so much easier compared to regular floor or mat Pilates don't even get me started on reformer Pilates I'm way too uncoordinated to even consider doing reformer Pilates at the moment still working on my coordination skills and flexibility before I do take that next step in doing reformer Pilates a quick reminder before I share my results from doing Pilates I just wanted to let you all know that I did not do this challenge to lose weight or anything like that I really just wanted to focus on gaining all of my strength back that I lost from my chronic fatigue just for reference this is from October of last year so I have been doing Pilates for quite a while chronic fatigue was so bad and I did not feel strong at all I knew that I had to make a change and that is when Pilates came in and basically rescued me a few inches later nearly just fell off my chair I am in absolute shock thank you doesn't matter how many exes cry over you when you finally get your dream body. You have to do it for yourself, queens. Feeling happy and healthy and strong has always been my main goal. Anything else on top of that is literally just a bonus. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in my next video.